What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and today we're going to be talking about the Mutt Master from Madden 18, Mr. Tom Brady. Now before you guys start asking questions about it, I'm just going to go through uh, the questions that I was being asked about it and why I already know how it's going to go down, alright? Now, Mutt Master, I don't know, I, I, I can't remember exactly what year it started, but I just, I'm going to let you know from when I started doing it. I started doing it in Madden 15. Um, Madden 15, that was when Richard Sherman was on the cover. You had to go through a whole bunch of things. Obviously, you're going to have to do the same things. You're going to have to do some offline things. You're going to have to do some head-to-head -head rank things. And you're going to have to do some, you know, other type of sets to ultimately get the Mutt Master uh, Madden 18 Tom Brady. Now, based on the newer viewers that have been asking me this, this is how we're going to go through it. Um, pretty much what, they, what they've been doing as the years have been going on, you've been getting a little bit more enhanced with the things that are going on as far as Mutt goes. Now, if you guys haven't got this 99 overall Tom Brady, that's just a card to let you know they, they've been more, uh, it's been more of a prevalent issue where it's just out there, uh, you know, the people that are being on the cover of Madden and stuff like that. And they gave everybody the opportunity this year to actually use the Madden cover guy, um, which is 99 overall Tom Brady. Now, I, I just put him back in the lineup recently because every quarterback that's in the game just pretty much sucks. So I had to end up going going back to Tom Brady. I haven't played a game yet uh, live on stream. If you guys want to follow me live on stream, you can go there right now on Twitch at G Myers World. We do giveaways daily uh, at 100 viewers. So I'll see you guys then. We've been giving away cards every day for the last couple weeks. But just looking at this, you can see this is the Madden 18 cover athlete. So going along the same premise like Gronkowski, you know, he was this year's Mutt Master. Richard Sherman, OBJ last year in Madden 16 was the Mutt Master, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at it and why I can let you guys understand what is going to be happening in Madden 18 because I have experience with it, okay? You're gonna, regardless of what happens, there's gonna be item sets, all right? These things are not gonna change. There's gonna be an item set. It's gonna be the master set, right? Once you see that master set, you're gonna go to um, where it says Mutt Master, right? Now this year was Mutt Master Gronk. This is gonna be the same thing, but it's gonna have Tom Brady, on there, I know consecutive years of Patriot uh, Patriot players. I know the AFC East is just sick. Jet fans are throwing up right now while watching the video. It is what it is. Tom Brady deserves it. He's probably the greatest quarterback ever to play in the history of the NFL. So once you click on it, this is what's going to happen. This year, in my opinion, it was very, very easy to get Grunk, probably because he was a tight end. Now, OBJ was a little bit more difficult. Richard Sherman was outrageous because it was very difficult in certain aspects because of the way the game was patched to get the online uh, card for me because the game just became, uh, uh, you know, dudes would run around running play action reach around. You know what I'm saying? It was just really, you know, it's end around, but I was calling it reach around because it just really killed me every time. Uh, so you're going to need some online play and it's going to be different things. Like this master ultimate season, this is solos. Master man of the month was like doing card collections, which I explained before. The master gauntlet was a separate thing with solos also. Uh, team master challenges is also solos. And then master events, when you had to get like, uh, what is it, like a hundred of these competitive championship tickets, that was through online gameplay. And then obviously elite badges. Now, with Tom Brady, I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. Because he's a quarterback, and that's like the number one position, it's gonna probably be a little bit more than this to get it done, all right? Now, staying on track with the Mutt Master Tom Brady for Madden 18, what's gonna happen afterwards is you're gonna see other things like this, the mid-season master, you're gonna see, you know, they might put sets in this. I actually completed this set, but then they reset it. I also completed this set, but this was repeatable. So what they've been doing is they've been adding on more master sets and things like that to get people inclined to play solo challenges. Now, solos are very, very, um, what is that? It's boring to do, unless it's early in the season, which I recommend doing it early in the season, because when you do it early in the season, it helps to teach you the game and other things that come along with it. Now, as the game may be patched, next year Madden 18 is gonna be on the Frostbite engine. If you guys have played FIFA, you should be familiar with it. Pretty much, um, graphically, I like how FIFA looks. But my issue with Madden has been gameplay over the years. Other than that, I love Madden. I, I've been playing Madden for so long. I, I just look for a little bit more as far as gameplay goes. Um, you know, my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Some people love Madden 16. I didn't like it too much. Madden 15 was ah, but my favorite Madden was Madden 25. All right, so looking at, looking at it from that aspect, these are other things that you'll be able to do 
as far as uh, going along throughout the year, well, after you get Mutt Master, uh, obviously Tom Brady, which will be available at launch like they always are, but you have to put a lot of grinding in to the solos. Now we're gonna go take a look at what so you know what is solos? What am I talking about? What's going on with that? Because like I said, it's going to be a situation where a lot of the new people that are coming to my channel. They like the way I explain things, but usually you get a lot of gameplay where I'm just doing commentary on it. But when I'm trying to explain what goes on, this helps a lot of people. So that's why, that's the purpose of this video. So give it a like if it's helping you understand what Madden is and what Madden 18 Mutt Master will be all about. Now, these solos that I haven't completed, like the year in review and things like that, those are newer solos. I'm all soloed out. So I'm not really interested in doing these right now, but as you can see, I had to do everything else. The chemistry ones, because that was for separate uh, chemistry master. Uh, the overall challenge master, which was for Deion Sanders. Um, the journey I had to do to get some of the other things that were going on with it. Um, Ultimate season obviously was part of, you know, Mutt, Mutt Master Grunk. So these are a lot of solos that you have to play. The gauntlet challenges, the team challenges. Um, obviously with these VIP solos, that's after you've played uh, 500 solos um, over here this was after you played 2,000 solos so you can see that I've played a lot of different solos I've gone through all the things that you need to go through to get these players now as far as uh, the guys that are asking me questions about G Mile, what do you think about buying coins stuff like that buying coins is against the EA Sports terms of service I've never bought coins I'm not gonna buy coins Shout out to everybody that donates coins to me on stream and helps to support the G Myers World movement. But I just don't want to be one of those guys that are so eager to get the best team to put it on YouTube that I go out and start doing that. I'm also not going to give sponsorship to coin selling sites because I don't want somebody else to be banned because of me. That's just my opinion. I, I don't, I'm not taking, I'm not taking a shot at anybody that does it. I'm just saying I don't want to be responsible for somebody else having their account banned. Because I don't, you know what the thing is? It's not laid out directly that it's against EA Terms of Service, which I think is not right. I think like they, you know how they put everything else out there? It should be something when you log in or something that's inside the actual game when you get it or something that you have to agree to before you pay, you know, before you play so that you know that it's against the EA Sports Terms of Service because a lot of people have said, bro, I got banned for 21 days and I didn't even know it was against the Terms of Service. You know what I'm saying? So that that I've been trying to get that out but again I don't know how they'll go about it if they'll be more um, open to letting everybody know but I get a lot of questions about that daily and I also get a lot of emails uh, from uh, coin selling sites um, to you know to, to, to give them a uh, to start my video off about coins I, I'm, not, I'm just not into that because like I said I don't want to be responsible for somebody else which you know what I'm saying it could be an adult a kid whatever every whoever does it you're gonna be you're gonna be banned and sometimes they ban your console also so it's not a cool thing to do um, but like I said people do it it's part of the game and um, you like I said that's your choice I'm just letting you know that uh, according to what I was told from EA representatives it's against the EA terms of service so when you're looking at that aspect of completing Mutt Master and Madden 18 you're going to need coins okay you're gonna need coins you're gonna need um, you're gonna need a lot of time obviously to do these solos because 352 solos and you know some of these I think they were moments where they mo yeah they were moments so what happened is when you see that little circle with the time that you can see the check mark over it moments are just things that are not full games just for the you know I'm trying to get through all the questions that I have I have a list here of all the things that people were asking me about you know the Madden 18 Mutt Master and what it means um, moments are just shorter games the uh, the team this team challenge these are full games but it goes from rookie to um, whatever the F is next. What is it? Rookie, pro, all pro, and then all madness. Well, no, this ends at uh, all pro. So, yeah. So, these are like full games with full seasons. But they did it so that even though it's 17 games in it, you only need the 16 to get the actual um, collectible that's needed to go towards the actual Mutt Master. Now, regardless of how they change up how you do it, you're going to need these things. You're going to need solos. You're going to need a certain amount of time on solos, and you're going to need a, you're going to need head-to-head -head gameplay, where you're going to go and get collectibles. Now, let me just show you what collectibles are as far as um, what they were this year. This was a way that you could compete. A lot of people also ask me, bro, how did how did you how do you compete to go to the um, you know the EA Championships where a lot of these guys were playing for money? Pretty much, when you play head-to-head -head games this year, you would get collectibles, right? Now, these are collectibles. All right, these are competitive things. You get this from playing online. 
all right? Now, you needed a hundred of these to get the Mutt Master Grunk. I'm telling you right now, because Tom Brady is a quarterback, it's probably going to be a little bit more. Because, like, again, the quarterback position is so much more dominant than the tight end. This was the easiest Mutt Master for me to do in any Madden year. Richard Sherman, 99 overall, that dude's price stayed consistent for pretty much throughout the entire Mutt, Mutt 15 year. OBJ, he started to go down a little bit as other cards came out because, um, you know, the golden tickets and stuff like that were out and, you know, uh, receivers and whatever were faster than him. You also had, uh, it, what was that? Was that what Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson was in 15 where he had 102 Excel and 99 whatever, but the, he, that was a running back, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, so it was different with Richard Sherman keeping his consistent price for the most part. But OBJ was a little bit harder to do because he was a wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the head-to-head... -head, with Madden 18, uh, Madden 16 was a little bit more um, crazy for me because the aggressive catch was so OP and it was ridiculous and I couldn't, it was just unbelievable. But I, like, again, if you liked it, that's something that you enjoyed, that's fine. I'm not, that's not what this video was about. This video was to explain to you how you're going to complete the Mutt Master for Madden 18 to get Tom Brady. That's what this is about. Uh, and obviously these questions that I will ask, I'm trying to explain throughout. So these are the competitive badges. Whatever they choose to use, if they call it competitive, whatever they call it, you're going to need a certain amount of online gameplay to get that, okay? So that's gonna be another aspect of it. And then when, I, when, when uh, it goes to completing sets, right? Um, the team MVPs, I'm not sure how they changed it up, but the team MVPs, I think they used to have it, what, what, yeah, it was like man of the month was earlier, you had to complete some sets. Um, earlier in the year, like you had to have man of the month um, collectibles. Like I did Von Miller. I didn't do Julio Jones. Or did I? I may have done it. I'm not sure. Um, I definitely didn't do this guy because this guy's stats were so stupid. I didn't feel it was necessary. This guy's stats were stupid also. And I didn't do this guy um, because of his stats. They just had Patrick Peterson very, very slow. But you needed a man of the month collectible also. So these are just sets. These are things where you have to... Um, you have to put in uh, Team Heroes by doing other sets that they've already removed. So you would have to have done, I forgot how many cards you had to put into it to get one of those hero sets, and then you have to put a 32 of them in to get uh, Von Miller. Now, that's where the coins come in. And that's when people are like, bro, I don't know how to make coins. I don't know how to do uh, a lot of these things without you know buying coins. Again, it's against the EA Terms of Service. So you will probably get your account banned. You probably won't be able to play Madden and it, you, if you get caught. But it's not really worth it to do it because there's so many other ways to make coins. Now, you can always buy packs, right? I didn't buy any packs this year unless I use coins. And that's because I was able to get uh, a lot of support from my, my, you know, my fan base on Twitter, on Twitch and things like that. And we were able to do a lot of things together. Obviously, that's why I do a lot of giveaways as a give back to the community that helps to support me. But you can always go to the store and you can buy a lot of packs and then you could go ahead and just sell them off while they're worth stuff in the auction house, okay? That's one major way to make coins, but the best way to do it the way I did it is to grind solos when the game first comes out. Because when you grind solos, every solo comes with a certain amount of coins. And earlier in the year when you were playing head-to-head, -head, they weren't giving out coins, but because of a lot of um, complaints from the community, they started to give you coins from head-to-head. -head. So that's other ways to make coins. There's different ways to do it. Lurking the auction house. What that means is you go to the auction house, bro, you open the auction house, right? You look at what time remaining is, and you're just looking for a snipe. You know, somebody puts up something crazy, you know, oh, 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 you know, at one point, this Ali, Ali card, Tamba Ali card was worth something. If that was the price, snipe. Put it back up for what it's worth. That, that's what everybody means by snipe action. You know what I'm saying? So you're looking through it. You're looking through it. Oh, that's a snipe. This is a snipe. And then you, you, know, you do it from that point on. And one snipe, you can ask anybody that's in Madden, can change your whole mutt season. You get one early snipe to put you up, it's a wrap. So that's why it's very, very... Um, important that you guys look and see what's available. Try to see what's a, you know what what things are looking like early because once you get that snipe and, and like I said, people just don't understand what goes on with the card value. So sometimes they just put it out and it's like, okay, you see, you're like, all right, what you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I'm good. Um, like this, like this E Jones, right? Somebody obviously needs this uh, Ed Too Tall Jones to complete a set, so it's a bid on it for 20k, right? 
I don't care about this guy this late in the season. I don't care about his Ultimate Legend set. I'm not worried about it, so I'm not interested. But if that was early in the year, somebody's like, yo, I don't know what this value is and I'm putting it up, that's something that you would go ahead and grab. A limited Drew Brees, his value would be high earlier in the season. So these are the things that you need to do. That's what they mean about sniping, okay? So I've pretty much covered everything about how possibly you will be doing the Madden 18 um, Mutt Master Tom Brady. If there's anything else that I missed or something like that, or you have any other questions, I will do these videos time to time to help the community understand how to put things together. If you need more information about how to put your team together, team building tips, what to keep, what to save, things like that, you can leave a comment. Uh, most of the most of the time, people will getting uh, you know they'll respond pretty uh, respectably to you. If I go through my comments or my other moderators go through the comments and somebody's being rude, I will ban them from my channel just to make sure that you have a proper experience. When it comes to these type of videos, obviously with my commentary, I go wild, so I expect wild comments. But for things like that, there's a time and place for everything, so I want to make sure when it's the learning aspect that you get what you're looking for. Because we don't only do commentary for Madden, we do so many other things, Call of Duty, NBA 2K. We do a lot of different games. Play. So you could check out a lot of different playlists and you apply yourself depending on what you're watching. So that's the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the information. Hopefully you like it. Um, I'll be doing giveaways daily until Madden 18 comes out at G Myers World on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter at G Myers World to be entered for different giveaways. And I'll see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy.